In today's video, I'm going to be giving you my top 10 favorite peacock cichlids. Peacock cichlids are one of the best fish to keep in the hobby because they are so colorful and they are so active. And there are a lot of different varieties to choose from and I'm excited to talk about some of my favorites. So let's dive right in. So I'm actually going to be in my fish room for this video in front of my peacock cichlid tank, which is a 75 gallon aquarium. Just some quick information on peacocks. They are a Luna Acara species from Lake Malawi. The three main groups of cichlids from Lake Malawi are Mbuna, peacocks, and haps. And peacocks are really in that middle range in terms of size. Peacock cichlids might be the most colorful cichlids in the hobby. And as you can see swimming behind me, they are just so active. They are constantly on the move. And because of that, their tank setup should really be open water swimming space for them with maybe just some rocks scattered at the bottom. But if you add too much decor to a peacock cichlid tank, it could actually lead to aggression as they fight over these territories. So it's best to provide plenty of space for them to swim back and forth in the tank, as well as having limited decor in the aquarium. It's also important to note that the males get all of the great coloration, whereas the female peacocks will stay pretty gray and drab. And that's why a lot of peacock cichlid tanks out there will be all males, because then you'll get the awesome color, and they won't be fighting over the females. If I were to add a few females into this tank, all chaos would break out and the males would just fight each other to the death. So it's best to either go with all males or a breeding group where you only have a one or two males and the rest females. So most of the fish talked about and shown in this video will be males which have the great color and slightly larger size as well. So let's go ahead and get right in the list starting with number 10 which is the Milana Bicolor Peacock. The Milana Bicolor is also known as the Bicolor 500 Peacock. It has awesome blue coloration with a big yellow shoulder band that comes through. My Milana Bicolor is just starting to color up so it's not even close to its full potential yet. I can't wait for this specific species to grow into its full maturity. And then coming in at number nine on the list is the OB Peacock. OB Peacocks are very popular because they have many different color patterns and varieties to choose from. They are hybrids from different peacock cichlids though, so some purists may not love the OB Peacock. I do have one in my 75 gallon tank and I like that it provides a pop of pink and red coloration, which you don't always find in a peacock cichlid tank. You can definitely find some cool varieties and color patterns out there depending on where they originate and what cichlids were mixed together to create that OB Peacock. But because of that, no two OB Peacocks look alike and it makes for a really cool and interesting fish to keep in your Peacock Cichlid tank. And then coming in at number eight on the list is the Eureka Red Peacock. It's another peacock that gets some red coloration which is definitely missing in a lot of different Peacock Cichlid tanks. It can provide that great pop of red color. It also has a nickname of the Fairy Cichlid and there are some different color morphs of the Eureka Red. Some are gonna be more red, some may even have some more yellow in its body. My Eureka Red here is still very young and it has slight yellowish orange color that's just starting to come in. But this is one of the fish that's really going to change color patterns as it's growing. But both the Eureka Red or the Otter Point will provide that hint of orange or even darker red coloration as they mature. Coming in at number 7 is the Rostratum. I actually just picked up three unsexed Rostratum which I have in my grow out tank right now. I really like these cichlids and put them high on the list because they have a unique body shape when it comes to the peacock. They have a much more pointed face with their mouth protruding a little bit more than the other peacocks. So they look a little bit more like the Malawi eye biter than I would say some other peacocks do. Just adds a slight difference to the tank full of different peacocks. And once they reach their maturity, they'll be big and blue with some yellow egg spots along their fins as well. Number six on the list is the sulfur head peacock. The sulfur head is a very unique peacock because it has coloration that comes right down along the top of its body, down its head. It'll get a dark coloration, dark purplish blue on its body, and then the orange and yellow head that makes for a really cool color pattern on the sulfur head. I think because of that unique color pattern, they make for one of the best peacocks to keep. They actually look like one of the Malawi hap species, the Z-Rock, but the sulfur head will stay a little bit smaller, maybe a little more peaceful but it'll still have that great coloration and pattern. So number five on the list is a peacock I don't have yet, but likely will be picking one up very soon. And that is the awesome Lawanda peacock. The Lawanda has awesome coloration with yellow and blue along its body. Their color pattern really makes them stand out as they'll have yellow trims to their fins with blue in the base 
Then they'll have blue throughout their body, which is almost shiny and neon colored. They look a lot like a lemon jake, but they do have more blue color in their dorsal fin and a slightly different blue color pattern throughout their body. I think both the lemon jake and the Luanda are beautiful peacocks. That's why you'll also see the lemon jake very soon. Number four on the list is the red shoulder peacock. My red shoulder peacock in my 75 gallon tank here is the tank boss. It's about five inches in length. It has awesome red coloration along its shoulder with some blues and yellows as well. And when you do get a tank boss of one of these or they're colored up all the way, You'll also see red and orange coloration in their tail and caudal fins, making it be an awesome fish and one that I'm definitely happy to have as my tank boss. But it does come with a double-edged sword because they can be very aggressive. Any peacock that is the tank boss in your tank could be very aggressive, but I think the red shoulder especially can be a bit of an issue long term if you don't have a big enough tank. I'm hoping with my tank upgrade that's coming very soon that the red shoulder will chill out a little bit or some of the new additions that I'll be adding to the bigger tank will also help out that aggression. Number three on the list is the Dragon Blood Peacock. Again, some purists may not love the Dragon Blood similar to the OB Peacock because they are hybrid cichlids, but both of them, especially the Dragon Blood, provide a great pop of red color to the tank. You'll usually have plenty of blues and yellow colors in your Peacock Cichlid tank, but the Dragon Blood provides that bright red color pattern and also just dragon blood is a very cool name and I think that fits it really well. My dragon blood started as the smallest in this tank at about two inches, but now it's pushing four and a half to five inches and is really starting to get some of that deep red color pattern coming in. It's definitely one of the peacocks I'm most excited to be keeping and to see it fully mature. Number two on the list is one I've already mentioned a few times and that is the Lemon Jake Peacock. The Lemon Jake is an awesome peacock because of the bright yellow coloration. Mine here is already colored up really nicely and will continue to do so over the next few months. It also has more of a fanned out curved tail than some of the other peacocks. It also gets some blue in its face and body. It is similar to the Luanda in that regard, but I would say the Lemon Jake stays much more yellow and has that bright yellow pop. The fins are also different because they'll mostly be yellow coloration throughout and they'll just be one of the brightest cichlids that you keep. So if you've seen the previous videos of this tank setup, you probably know it's number one on the list, and that's why I got the Peacock Cichlid tank in the first place, and that is the Nagara Flame Tail. I absolutely love the Nagara Flame Tail. It has the best coloration, in my opinion. It has dark blue and orange and yellow throughout its body, and it has that great tail color pattern, which gave it its name, Flame Tail. And also the name alone is pretty awesome. Nagara Flame Tail just sounds so cool. And I have a beautiful five to five and a half inch Nagara Flame Tail in my 75 gallon tank right now. It has kind of fought back to the red shoulder peacock at times, and I think it's kind of in that second or third in command in this tank. But I'm definitely happy it's held its own none of its fins are picked on or he doesn't really go after anyone else in the tank other than the red shoulder I think it's just that constant fight for dominance in a peacock cichlid tank but luckily nothing too severe and I also love the white trim to its dorsal fin which really gives it the complete color package and that pattern on its tail or even just its cool name it makes this one stand out to me when it comes to peacock cichlids and that's why it's my favorite and my number one on the list I hope you enjoyed seeing that top 10 list of peacock cichlids. As I've mentioned, I have a big custom aquarium upgrade coming for my peacocks. And on top of that, I don't know if you're even able to see, there's something else poking out over there. And that's gonna be probably our next video in the next few days. Very excited to show what I've been up to. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.